YouTube, what's good? We got a gameplay for you today, and uh, we'll be rocking the Chiefs defensive ebook, and I'm rocking the Colts offensive ebook for you guys. Um, if you guys want to get access to those ebooks, those are going to be linked down in the description below. Uh, Ten bucks gets you all of the ebooks that we have on the site. So you guys want to check that out? Links down below. Let's talk about uh, defense in Madden, kind of the state of it, and really what I think in terms of just like what can EA actually do to make defense better than it is. Uh, I actually don't think defense is in it's probably defense is like I'm trying to think out a word. The biggest thing is the more abilities that you get defensively, the better chance you honestly have. Like literally, I feel like that is it it, it shouldn't be that way, but it kind of is. And the reason why it's that way is just because they don't react well enough in zone without KO abilities. But if they have KO abilities, they react a lot better in the zone. So I'm rocking, and I talked about this a little bit the other day, uh, but what I'm doing right now defensively is I am uh, rocking a little deep in and mid zone KO. So I got deep in zone KO and mid zone KO on both my outside corners. And I feel like they play really, really well. Um, they play really, really well. I feel like they kind of play not necessarily like exactly how they're supposed to play. Like it might not be supposed to be playing this good. But I feel like they just react. And with set feet lead being as good of an ability as it is, literally an easy change. Look at that awesome punt. What a, what a punt, my man. Um, I feel like an easy change they could honestly make to the game that would instantly improve the defense is they just need to take uh, set feet lead out of the game or throwing, throwing velocity abilities out of the game. Like, you can keep Gunslinger. Like, literally just take – as I totally whiff on a touchdown. Um, just just take set feet lead out of the game and pass lead lead. You can keep gunslinger. You can even um, you can keep hot route master. I think hot route master honestly is good for the game, uh, in my opinion. As I'm just getting caged by my man scoot up Kane 02. I think Hot Rod Master is good for the game. And the reason why I think Hot Rod Master is good for the game is because it, it allows for more creativity. You can just do more stuff. And I feel like that's honestly, overall, really good for the game. Because um, without Hot Rod Master, you're just going to be running verticals, double bows. With Hot Rod Master, now you're in Smash Return. <laughs> um, you know, so I don't know. I just, I just think Hot Rod Master is really good for the game. And I think Set Feet Lead, honestly, um, I'm kind of starting to think it needs to go with the next gen movement system because I don't see them changing the movement system that much. I feel like they, I don't know that they can. Uh, okay. And so, cause we've been on next gen, what, since Madden 22, this Madden 24. So for three, three, uh, cycles of the game, we've been on next gen consoles and basically it's been the same problem every year. In fact, defense <laughs> in a roundabout way got better and worse at the same time on next gen from Madden 22 to Madden 23 and Madden 24. And, uh, the reason being, is because in Madden 22, you could have a baseline pressed corner in a cloud flat, and he would actually get back and cover a corner route. Now, if you baseline and press your corner, you can't really put him in a cloud. I mean, it's got to be a very such it's a very situational adjustment. I mean, you could, but it's a very situational adjustment to make to put him uh, in a in a cloud at, at this at this point. So. To me, that's part of the chat or part of the issue. It's just like they, the movement makes it really easy for set feet lead to exploit everything in this game. And that's just um, like to me, that's the main issue. <laughs> and if they fix that issue, then we got a shot. But if they don't fix that, I think you're going to continue to see uh, more offensive heavy Maddens according to – because I just don't know – I don't know what they could realistically do that would actually make a big enough difference other than, like I said, take throwing velocity abilities out of the game. If you don't have throwing velocity abilities, you could still play offense this year. I mean, the the first um, – I wish that KO would have played that. What was the tournament that uh, Kobo won? Kobo was rocking, rocking it. Henry was what, rocking – Henry was rocking set feet lead, and Kobo was rocking hot master Joe Montana. And he actually showed, like, you could win a tournament with um, with Hot Rod Master. You don't have to have Set Feet Lead, um, even though Set Feet Lead is the most powerful ability in the game, in my opinion, um, because it literally is just, it's just, they, 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 
They just can't. There's there's no balance to it. It's literally disproportionately valuable compared to everything else because it affects every single pass that you throw, and you can just throw the ball into so many windows that you just can't really do if you don't have the ability. So uh, anyway, so all that to say, set feet lead is really good. I think if they take set feet lead out of the game, it would help. Um, it would just help because the 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 reaction time for zones and stuff that would just it'd just be a lot better um and i i don't know if it's, it's even i don't know that you can even argue any other way <laughs> like i just think it'd be it would be better um you would actually have to because like literally if you think about it you have to put good route combos on the field but outside of putting good routes on route combos on the field like what did like most zones don't do anything <laughs> this year um you know, a press cloud flat is terrible. A press curl flat is terrible. Quarter flats are terrible. There's just so many bad zones. <laughs> There's just so many bad defenses in this game. And I just think that's part of the problem is like, there's just not a way to cover stuff. You know, like, I mean, if you really get down to it, if you play a really, if you play a competent man player that understands like good reads, and they, they and of course, and of course, there it is. My special teams has to make an appearance in every video I do. I just miss field goals, guys. I just do. I miss field goals. I always have. I probably always will. If you have any tips for making field goals, let me know in the comments because I freaking suck at kicking field goals. <laughs> If you play against a competent man player, and they and I would say like you know they probably got to be running like what I would say is a more meta formation and more competent like just have better routes uh, to be able to attack man honestly um, because like these double sets they really can't beat man well um, especially the slot receivers like yeah you could beat man coverage if it was just straight up two bit under but manning up the slots with these outside thirds on the outside is really good spread defense or Kind of what I like to do is uh, shade down to get that hook curl to play more underneath. And then I love to curl flat the slot receiver because if you watch there to the left side, he should press him. Um, he didn't kind of he didn't press him out of play action, so I got to get over there. Look at Jordan Love. Dude, Jordan Love, man. Jordan Love is not the move at quarterback, my guy. You can't be using Jordan Love. You got to be on Andrew Luck or William Perry until they release something better. But, yeah, so – I just think like the easiest fix they could make that would actually improve defense is just take the take the velocity abilities out of the game. I think it'd be simple. I think it'd work. Um, but again, I mean this this game was very it was still a very offensive heavy game the first couple months as well. I mean it's been offensive heavy all year. I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to remember the tournaments though. I mean you there were people getting stops. I mean especially the first tournament when there was actually a way to get pressure and, and now like there's actually a legitimate way to get pressure, which is awesome because like a good blitz in Madden, the thing that a good blitz does in my opinion, is it, is it helps with the skill gap? I don't know if it helps with the skill. gap. that's probably, that's probably not fair. I'm trying to think. I know civil talked about this a little bit. Um, last summer is knowledge gap, skill gap, or this might've been a couple summers ago, but, the basic question is because scoot up Kane probably doesn't know the slide protection to pick up this dollar blitz. It means that I'm got a really good chance at winning the game. It's not the only reason why um, can I throw, I was going to try to throw that. It's not the only reason why I'm ultimately probably going to win this game. Right. But him not knowing the slide protection makes it a lot easier on me because I can just sit in that blitz all game. Whereas if I played, you know, um, a competent Madden player, like uh, hit you know any 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 kind of, I mean not even not even like top tier, but just someone that knows how to pick up a blitz and slide protect to the right and ID to the to right or whatever. I don't even know what I honestly don't know what the industry slide protection is for the dollar blitz. I feel like people are doing all kinds of different stuff. <laughs> some people slide right, some people slide left, some people ID right, some people ID left, some people ID the nose tackle, some people block the tight end, some people. So I don't know the exact, like, this is the best way to pick up the dollar blitz, at least yet. I got my own protection that I use, and I actually think it is the best. Um, but anyway, with that in mind, so does that mean that I'm better, I'm better Madden player than him? I don't know. I think it means that I have um, 
a competitive advantage because I, you know, am, am, am like learning the game and all that, but I don't know, kind of, uh, kind of interesting, but defense has been bad for three years. I feel like honestly, and, and it gets better in some areas and then it gets better or worse in other areas, which is part of what makes it a challenge. It's like it gets better, but then it gets worse. Look at mid zone KO. Dude, mid zone KO is so good. I think mid zone KO. I kind of wonder if you could just. I guess you have. You kind of have to have deep out. Mid zone is just such a good ability. The fact that you can get two deep outs and two mid zones make this game better, objectively. They really do. I don't know if they make it better. They just make defense better, um, which I'm all for because I would. I would much rather. Offense be hard than easy, but that's just me. I think the main reason why is because I feel like when defense is good, I I, I, I don't know if I can say this or not. I feel like when defense is actually good, like like Madden 20, but I also think, like I'm trying to remember years where defense was actually good. Like Madden 18 was defense was, was, was good. I think that was 91 zone. I don't know if Madden 17 defense was good. I'm trying to remember. I don't know if it was or not. I know there was a blitz that was really good. There were several blitzes um, in Madden 17 that were really good. And I'm trying to remember if the coverage behind it was good. I remember the tournaments. I just think it's more fun to watch a Madden where they actually have a shot at stopping each other. I feel like you watch Comp Madden right now, and they don't have a shot. They don't have a shot. They're they're audible. And look at the, I mean, like another thing. Here's another thing. When I audible, his players, he, they, they're going to have a really hard time moving. Just like stuff like that. I just feel like that should not be in the game. And I, I and it, it's like just, it's like a functionality issue at this point. It's not like an actual like schematic thing. I don't think it's on purpose. And that's what's kind of concerning is they have a lot of issues on defense specifically that I would say, I don't know why I threw that. That was stupid. That was so stupid of me. I guess I'm one in twenty to zero. Um, there's a lot of issues on defense, and have been a lot of issues on defense over the last couple of years. That I feel like they literally don't mean to do, and they don't know how to fix it, and that's <laughs> that's not good. <laughs> um, and they're like functionality issues, like I can't move my player, or I can't. Um, and, and with how fast you can play offense, like, it's really hard. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, just, it's just really hard to play defense. And I don't know that it's – I don't know. I don't know. I'm interested in your guys' thoughts on defense because I wonder if I'm the only – I wonder if other people think it's as hard as I do. Like, I feel like if you play against somebody that really knows what they're doing, it's really hard to get a stop. Um I just, that's how I feel. I don't know. Let me know. I feel like if you're playing against someone like this, that, you know, they're just kind of doing whatever. Um, it's a lot easier to get stops, but it's also in a way, a roundabout way, it's more frustrating because they're doing so many random things that you just don't, you don't have any clue. <laughs> you just don't have any clue what they're, what they're going for, you know? Lurk Artist, best ability in the game. I will say Lurk Artist is – I don't know if Lurk Artist is better than mid zone and deep out, but it's up there. It's up there. Lurk Artist has been a great addition to this game. I'm actually so thankful for Lurk Artist. You think about it, like, they made linebackers relevant again. First time since Madden 20, so I'm, like, super thankful. Can I throw this? Oh, I got to wind up. Dang it. That was bad on my part. I probably should have stepped up into it. I don't know. But, yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think on defense? I, I just – I don't know. I feel like it's good. I feel like it's it's actually – I don't know if it's – it's not good, um, especially with the fatigue stuff. Like, the fatigue stuff just took it to a whole other level, so I'm not even going to bring that up because it's just like – it wasn't – again, it was something in their game that they broke, but – the thing I was going to say about about um, defense that I'm interested in your guys' perspective, like what can they actually do to make defense better? I mean, they took out basically every blitz, 
uh, which tells you they don't want you to be able to blitz. Now, we still can, and we always will be able to find it. I, I'd be the only – I don't know if I remember a year in Madden where you couldn't get a good Sin 5 blitz. I feel like every Madden that I've ever played, there's been some kind of way to get a Sin 5 pressure. So I feel like they're going to always – there's always going to be a blitzing component to the game. Um you know, whether whether EA knows that or not. <laughs> um, I feel like there's always going to be a blitzing component to the game, and I feel like there should be because, like I said, I feel like blitzes, they create skill gap or at least a knowledge gap because you have to actually know how to slide protect a blitz, which I think you should know how to sli- have to know how to slide protect a blitz. Um, Civil did a really good uh, – I'm probably going to throw that tight end. I need to get rid of the ball. I'm going to hold on to it, though. I'm stuck. <laughs> I got stuck. Um, Civil did a really good video on this too. He was talking about this, and I think he was talking about the, the slide protection component of all this. And one of the things he said that was actually really good insight is he basically said, like, the thing that needs to happen, and this was like last year, last year's problem with defense, or one of last year's one of last year's problem with uh, blitzes. Is the slide protections, they never really made any sense. Like, why would I slide protect to the right to pick up a blitz that's coming off the left? So they need to make the slide protections make sense. 100% agree. 100% agree. I think that's a good insight. Um, I think that would be a good change. Let's see if I can actually catch the pass. There it is. Um, I think that would be a really good change. Like, just make the slide protections make sense. So if I slide right and ID – if I slide right, I block my running back and I ID the left to the, bl- the left side blitzer, it's a pretty basic half-slide pass pro. I don't know why that can't work, but they just, they just seem to not be able to get it. And I feel like what, hap- what ultimately ends up happening is – we find a blitz or, or like the best players in the world find a blitz. Everybody starts running the blitz, which is fine. And then from there, people start to whine. Oh, they're, you know, you know, like people basically just like start to complain because they can't pick it up. And then EA patches the blitz and that's, that's it. (laughs) Um, Because the uh, Zones just don't work good enough to not have uh, to have unlimited time. Uh, even sheds. This is another little thing. Like the sheds in this year's game, they're not necessarily bad. They're just random. Like I'll play people sometimes that they're sending a four man rush, and sometimes that four man rush will come in like instantly, like instantly come in right. And then other times you're playing the same basic thing. Everything is the same, and you have all day. And when you have all day, if you if you know what you're doing, you should be able to dot up the defense, which I'm not necessarily saying that's a bad thing. I'm just saying, like, I don't know. I just feel like there's not checks and balances. And the the blitz is a way of providing checks and balances because if you're on a timer, then my zone doesn't have to be incredible, right? Another thing that is obviously a factor as to why defense is really not um, – you know, it's just oh, that's the last Madden I was thinking of. Madden twenty one had some defense in it, um, or at least like the the games were lower scoring. Now, what people would say about Madden twenty one, which is actually uh, to a degree a fair point, it was basically just run man coverage and adjust out of man coverage, from what I remember. And then at a certain point, it became run Mabel coverage and adjust out of Mabel coverage. So I kind of see like. I kind of see like why that would be stale, um, but I don't know. I just feel like there was more, there was just more skill gap, man. In Madden Twenty One, like if you were a good player, you you'd win. And I feel like now you might still win, but it's gonna be painful to win. Like I'm having a pretty easy game here, but I don't know. I've I've played against a lot of people. That I feel like I'm objectively better player than. And we're just in a dog fight because they've, you know, an RPO or, I mean, just something, you know, like. And so I just think it, I don't know. I just wish, I just wish defense was more, I don't know. I wish it was better. I don't know how you make it better. That's why I want to do this video, see what you guys thought. Um, I feel like loot users aren't good enough. That's a part in this specific year's game, in this specific moment in time. The fatigue glitch is stupid. 
and that's part of the problem. Um, I don't know. I just feel like it's hard to bag people, and I don't know. I, I, I've i always really enjoyed defense more than offense, personally. So I'm probably unique in that. But I don't know. I'm interested to see what you guys think. We're just screaming at him. See, he just can't, he just can't pick it up. It's eight sacks. I think yesterday I had – what did I have? Like, I can't remember what I had. I'm not even backing this guy off. What did I have yesterday? How many sacks did I have? Like he just can't block it. Look at this, dude. Gronk is Gronk is totally the best the best a gap blitzer. Also, by the way, in my opinion, for the dollar a gap, at least right now with the fatigue stuff, Gronkowski just comes in, bro. I mean, he just is really good. Let me see. This is like probably my favorite coverage show. I love this coverage show for really any formation. There it is. Can we, can we catch it? See, like that. That's a, that's a reason why defense is bad right there. That's a reason. Like, the, just the play ball logic is terrible. I don't know. This should be D. This should be pretty good D. I need to man this guy up on the running back, actually. Look at that screen. Boom. Blocked running back. Can't block it. Let's go. Yeah, this defense is good. This is the best defense in the game, but if I was playing somebody that was a little better, he would not. I mean, he would have scored. I mean, it, it's hard to get a stop still. So, anyways, that's it, guys. Let me know what you thought of deep, what you think of defense. If you want to get my full ebook on this, join the Patreon. Link is in the description below.